Hi guys, Cinematic Recap here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American survival thriller movie, called Beast. Somewhere in the African forest, a group of poachers are walking silently with their guns and preparing to hunt a lion pride. After shooting the lions, the poachers approach the corpses and loads them into their truck. They leave two poachers behind while most of them leave the area. Not long after that, one of them hears a lion's roar nearby and decides to follow the sound. Unfortunately, a giant lion emerges from the bushes and immediately attacks him to death. In the next scene, recently widowed Dr. Nate Samuels and his daughters, Meredith and Nora are flying towards South Africa for a vacation. After they land, Nate reunites with his old friend, Martin, who introduced Nate to his wife. Martin then takes them to the village where Nate's wife spent her childhood. Nate and the girls will also be staying at Martin's house for the next few days as Martin has been living alone since his girlfriend left him. At one moment, Meredith is excited to see a photo of her mother standing by a tree. Over dinner, Nate and Meredith get into an argument, in which she says that Nate was not with them when her mother died of terminal cancer. This caused her to be disappointed in her father. Later that night, Nate finally confides to Martin that he has planned this vacation to reconnect with his daughters, especially with Meredith. The next morning, Martin takes the group on a tour inside Mopani Preserve's restricted areas and introduces them to his friend, Bonji, who is an expert at tracking the movements of the lion pride. Bonji shows them a local lion pride and says that Martin rescued those lions as little cubs and raised them to this day. As Martin approaches the lion pride, some of the lions start playing with him. Just then, Martin notices that a female lion got a wound on her paw. He tries to check on her, but the other lions push him back. Martin realizes that nearby poachers might have attacked the female lion last night. Because of this, he orders Bonji to call a vet as soon as possible before taking the group to a nearby village. On their way, Martin tells them that the poachers used to just be after the elephants and the rhinos, but now they are actively going after the lions because they can sell their teeth, claws, even bones at high prices on the black market. After they arrive at a nearby Tsonga community, Martin is shocked to discover that most of the population is dead. He suspects that a rogue man killing lion is responsible for this, and that whoever did this is still out there. Nate quickly comes outside and only sees Meredith, but Nora is not there. The two of them start looking for Nora and finally hear her scream. Nate rushes there and finds Nora terrified from seeing a dead girl. Afterwards, they rush back to report the finding, and Martin tries to contact Bonji, but the radio signals are blocked due to the mountains around them. A few moments later, they encounter an injured Sangha man on the road. Martin and Nate exit the car and ask the man what happened. The man tells them that a lion attacked the village. Nate returns to the car to get the medical kit and tells the girls to stay in the car. Meanwhile, Martin heads deeper into the forest to track the lion. He ends up at a water stream and finds a lion claw mark. He then gets into the water and slowly moves forward, but suddenly, he is attacked by the lion from behind. Meanwhile, Nate is unable to save the injured man. At the same time, he hears Martin's gunshot, which terrifies the girls even more. Nate also goes inside the forest, only to see the lion there. The lion hits the car and climbs onto it. Since the car is built with steel rods, the lion cannot break the door, but keeps looking for ways to break in and eventually shatters the window, grabbing Nate's leg. However, their car ends up crashing into a tree, stranding them. Nate checks on his daughters and tries to calm them down. Shortly after, Martin contacts Nate via walkie-talkie, indicating that he is still alive. Martin says that he cannot stand as his leg is torn up. Nate tells him to heat his knife with his lighter and put it in the wound to stop the bleeding. Martin follows his instruction and screams out of pain, which is heard by the group. As Nate is about to come out to save him, Martin sees the lion staring at him. He presumes that the lion is using him as bait to lure the others out. As the radio is out of range to contact help, Nate and his daughters assemble a tranquilizer rifle, hoping to subdue the lion long enough to recover Martin and go back to the village. Later, Martin tells Nate that the lion has left him, and they should stay in the car. However, Nate is adamant about finding a way to help him, so he comes out through the sunroof and looks for the lion using the rifle scope. They ask Martin for the landmark near him, but Nate cannot find it. At the same time, Nora sees the lion walking on a rock nearby. Nate tries to shoot it, but he misses, so the lion attacks and causes him to fall from the car. Luckily, he manages to get under the car when the lion attacks him from all sides. At one point, Nora takes a tranquilizer dart and stabs the lion with it, causing the lion to retreat. On the other side, Meredith takes advantage of the distraction to save the injured Martin. She then holds him on her shoulder and helps him walk using a stick. As the two arrive at the car, 
Nate quickly treats Martin's wound. That night, Meredith keeps trying to contact others using the radio, but her efforts are in vain. Knowing this, Nate promises to keep them safe. However, Meredith still does not believe him because her father was not there to save her mother. Sometime later, the now recovering Martin finally wakes up. Nate asks him why the lion is doing this, and Martin speculates that the lion went rogue after poachers killed its pride. While all of them are sleeping, the sound starts coming out from the radio. Soon after, a truck comes towards them. He then explains to the poachers that they were attacked by the lion and asks for their help. Hearing this, the poachers initially agree to transport the group to the village in exchange for a huge payment. However, tensions rise after leader spots Martin inside the car. It turns out that Martin is an avid anti-poacher and has killed some of the poachers. They try to kill Martin and start to take Meredith and Nora from the car. Suddenly, the lion attacks and scatters the poachers, killing most of them. Nate uses the opportunity to put the girls back inside the car before trying to retrieve the truck's keys from the poachers. Unluckily, he cannot find the keys to the truck, so Nate goes inside the forest, where he searches the dead bodies one by one. However, he sees that the lion is roaming around, and he quickly climbs a tree. When the lion comes under him, Nate grabs a nearby snake and throws it at the lion, causing the lion to back off. After sneaking through the swamp, he eventually finds the keys to the poacher's truck and takes a gun with him. In the meantime, the lion comes near the car and tries to attack them again. Martin quickly stops the lion and tells the girls to escape, but Meredith gets hurt in the process. Unfortunately, the car falls into a ravine along with Martin and the lion. Although already injured from the fall, the lion gets up and proceeds to kill the trapped Martin, who eventually sacrifices himself by setting off an explosion from the leaking gasoline. Nate hears the explosion and runs towards the girls. He quickly treats Meredith's wound and learns that Martin was dead. As morning rises, Nate starts the truck and drives away with Meredith and Nora, but they have to stop the truck before they run out of fuel. Hence, they leave the truck and walk to an abandoned schoolhouse nearby, which the poachers used as their base. Upon arrival, Nate tends to Meredith's wound and forages for water. He also tells Nora to look after her sister. When Nate goes outside, the girls see that the rogue lion has stalked them to this place. Thankfully, Nate returns in time and shoots the lion to scare it away. He then locks his daughters inside a room and promises to return after subduing the lion. Nate provokes the lion into coming after him and ends up luring it to the local lion pride which Martin raised. Nate tries to fight it, but the rogue lion overtakes and mauls him, nearly killing him. As the lion is about to finish him off, two lions from the local pride quickly intervene and eventually kill the rogue lion. Just then, Banji also arrives and saves Nate as he falls unconscious. Hours after the incident, a recovering Nate finally awakens in a hospital and sees Meredith and Nora beside him. He then tells his daughters that he loves them so much. The movie ends with all of them returning to the preserve, this time as a united family, and taking a group photo next to Nate's late wife favorite tree. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.